Hello everybody and welcome to Morzak EV, a channel dedicated to all things electric vehicles, electric vehicle charging and all related technologies. So I figured today that we'll do a little sort of guide on the Tesla Model 3 display, go through a few of the settings. Um, this would be particularly useful for anybody who hasn't actually got the Tesla yet, but maybe looking to get theirs. They're a little bit nervous about what everything does, what the display does. So we take you through the basics. Now, obviously these things do change as Tesla updates the software, but the general principle is the same. Um, and a lot of the general settings are the same. So we'll take you through the display. So we are going to do this video in two stages. Um, we're going to do some very, very sort of basic stuff um, that it's useful when you get the car, how to do all the basics. And then we'll do a second video which shows you a bit more detailed stuff, a few of the tips and tricks, things like that. So um, I'll post links to the, each video when, when that's done. I know, I know, I know. Our Tesla videos are like electric buses. You wait for ages for one to come along and then two come along in quick succession. So once I started recording this, I realised how much stuff there is to cover on the Tesla Model 3. So I'm going to break this down into a few different videos covering different aspects. And this first video is going to cover the basic controls and display. Uh, so we'll start with the sort of Tesla Model 3 display 101. Okay, so when you get in the car, there's no key um, you get a key card to get in the car, you set it up with your phone, that's the way everybody sort of uses the Tesla Model 3 to get in the car and Tesla will go through doing that with you. Um, but we will show you pairing the phones in the second video. Um, but I'm sort of assuming that's already done for now. So with the car itself, you get this nice looking key card. It comes in this credit card type wallet embossed with Tesla and on the reverse side is the instructions. Really simple to use. To get in the car to unlock it before you've paired the phones you tap the key card on the B pillar here. You use that to unlock and unlock the car. Once the phone's set up you don't need to worry about that. Then once you're inside the car you have to put the key card on the centre console in this position here. Just bear in mind, we've covered our centre console in a protective material. We've got a separate video on this. You can see the link in the comments and in the top right corner. So placing the key card and the console in this position allows you to drive away. So, when you get in the car, this is the display you're greeted with. As a lot of you know, there's no real sort of buttons in the Tesla apart from legal requirements. So up the top here are your hazards and the SOS button, which is um, a requirement in Europe. Uh, on the sides here, you've got the button at the top here, which opens the door. So that's how you open the door. And then these are the window opening buttons. Uh, so front and back. I'm not gonna actually open the door or the windows as you see the weather's particularly bad today. Uh, so on the steering wheel, you have a couple of jog wheels, which also you can press oh, and have um, you can press forward and back and actually push in to activate it. That's on both sides. Then you've got the stalks. So on the right hand stalk is your gear selector if you like. So reverse neutral drive and then when you're actually moving as well this is your um, cruise control and self-driving and then 
then on the very end of the stalk is your park button. So driving the car, again as with everything in this car, super easy. Obviously there's no gears, electric cars are nearly all automatic or drive the same as an automatic. Um, but unlike automatics that don't actually have any gears. So all you do is put your foot on the brake pedal if you want to go forwards, pull the stalk down to D for drive. If you want to go into reverse, put your foot on the brake pedal and push it all the way up to R for reverse. Notice that when you put it into reverse, the reverse cameras on the centre screen automatically come on. The wing mirrors move down so that you can see the rear wheels better. Really clever feature. On the end of the stalk, press the P button and it goes into park which automatically engages the handbrake. The left hand stalk, this is where you control your windscreen wipers and your indicators. So the manual controls are fairly simple. Obviously down the bottom here you've got your uh, drive pedal and your brake pedal. Fairly simple. These pedals are aftermarket pedals. We've got a video on installing those. Apologies for the mud but it is filthy at the moment. So, then on the display you've got here, you've got a couple of things. So firstly, you've got a trunk and frunk open button. So this is the trunk and this is the frunk. Uh, you've got the charge port opening button. Push that and the opening, the charge port opens. And then it automatically brings up the settings for charging and close that again but if you leave it without plugging it in for a while it will automatically close itself. Underneath that you can bring up some of your basic settings so that opens the camera views all around the car. You've got your charging screen, press that. And that's how you deal with your charging, check your charging status, um, your costs on your supercharging. And you've got your microphone here. So that's where you can do all your voice commands. If you've had a Sentry event, um, so for those of you who don't know, the Tesla has a Sentry mode. Uh, you can turn that on or off. Basically that um, detects when people are near the car and starts filming. So um, it's to protect your car when it's parked up. You know, if uh, somebody's coming up and having a look in the car, you can see, get their faces on there. Um, and if you're on a car park and somebody bumps into you, for example, uh, you'd probably be able to get the number plate from your sentry mode footage. So that's all really good. At the bottom here, you've got your windscreen wiper status. So you can have auto or you can actually turn it on manually using these buttons. And a lot of the way the car works is just like using um, a tablet or an iPad of some kind. So there's a lot of uh, swiping you can do. Uh, see the status of your doors. That's your trip indicator. And across the bottom of the screen are these buttons which are permanently on. So those are the, I guess, the car menu where you've got various options for the car. You have um, your music menu, your radio, Spotify, all that kind of stuff. You have your quick menu across the bottom here. You press the up button. So um, there's the call calendar if you need that. Again, another way to access the camera, your energy, that's useful when you're driving. It'll tell you your consumption, all that kind of stuff. So these buttons here are for your uh, climate control and uh, heated seats. 
I push this button here, turn your heated seats on or off, turn the cabin temperature up or down. A sync button means you, you can have different temperatures on different sides or you can actually sync it so it's one cabin temperature. Push the fan button, that brings up your full heating display so that's where you can actually direct the airflow and it really does work nice um, so you can kind of have it wider so you know I don't like it blowing in my face for example so I kind of direct it how I feel to make sure it's not sort of blown in my face where it's blowing again another heated seats display one thing you'll notice with the Tesla is that there's a ton of different ways to access the similar features and it's displayed in different ways you've got your front and rear windscreen heating and a couple of different ways to do that and then finally a volume button you can also do it by the left hand jog wheel so the left hand jog wheel generally speaking is set up for radio control so press it once play press it again and it pauses on whatever the last radio station or Spotify um, playlist you were on. And then backwards and forwards, skips ahead or behind, um, skips up and down the stations or ahead of track, back of track. Pretty straightforward to use. Um, just for information, when you are driving, and I won't film this obviously, the, the right-hand jog wheel will adjust your speed on your automatic cruise control or self-driving. Self okay, so that's the basic display. Um, even that, there's so many things to explore without going into detail on the settings and things like that. So one of the things you'll definitely have seen in this video is there's loads of different ways to access similar features loads of different ways of displaying some of the information um, so it's all really you know you find out how to use the car as best to what suits you but it's really adaptable really fun to try things out hopefully you found the video useful if you did check us out on social media subscribe and hit the bell icon for more tesla videos as well as videos on other related technologies Give us a cheeky thumbs up on that like button. And in the meantime, thanks very much for watching.